generic greetings and welcome back once again to Power Wash Simulator. In the previous episode, we were cleaning the house that is either next door to an active volcano and or a coal mine and managed to get it to a 48% clean. We're currently on 49 because, as you can see, I'm continuing on with the cleaning. So in this episode, more relaxing, more cleaning and hopefully a lot of chilling. So there you are. So this house or house if you're from a place with an accent that doesn't pronounce H's or H's or the hoose if you're from Scotland. Other dialects and accents are available and also languages but um, just not here. Either way uh, we are cleaning this house and it is as you can clearly see a little bit dirty. This is the wall that we are currently washing up. I'm taking my time. I've got the 15 degree yellow nozzle on here. I'm not going to try any cleaning solutions. I think we're just going to stick with uh, what we are used to, which is a tried and tested method of switching between mainly the 25 and 15 degree. Most likely we will use some cleaning product, and that'll be on this thing here, which is something we had to use on the front, and there's that nice and clean, so pretty good. Let me just cut in around here. The dirt doesn't seem to be as ingrained on this surface as it, it was on that wall, so I'm going to... I think try and clean all of this uh, post here in the veranda and porch and stuff. You can see a lot of this grime is just not coming off, so we're going to use the cleaning solution on that one. So let's just take the majority of the muck off, and we're just going to rotate that and see if we can get the top part of it. There's a lot of sort of stubborn grime and dirt and such that we have to get off, but we'll take the thick off with the standard nozzle, and then we'll go ahead with the cleaner and clean it that way. So, yeah, we'll do that. A couple of comments from previous videos. Nothing in any sort of, uh, sort of like feedback way in terms of how to do things, but just a lot of people saying they're really enjoying the game. It's really chill and relaxing, and uh, they happily fall asleep to it, which is uh, normally not what you would class as a compliment, but uh, I guess in this... <laughs> regard it is so glad people are enjoying very much so very surprised actually by the amount of people watching the video but it's just a bloke power washing some some items so yeah glad it's been well received and uh, people are getting some out of it but yeah there's a lot of people also suggesting that we skip over the medium cleaner the medium cleaner is I think two grand and Quite frankly, by the time we have enough money to get it, which I'm hoping will be the end of this job, we might as well wait for for the large one. Or was it two grand or was it one and a half and then it would go up to about two if we had to use the... or we had to buy the other nozzles. I'm not entirely sure, I can't exactly remember, so I'll, I'll check once we're out of this one. But obviously, that's not what our focus is at this stage. Just cleaning this. I've also realised as well that on the wall, specifically over there 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 was a big bit of graffiti like like this here but I didn't have to clean it off because I cleaned the rest of the wall and when you get to that certain percentage you, just, you hear the ting and then it goes yep job done you've cleaned that so <laughs> we didn't have to uh, do any of that which was uh, pretty good so there you are a lot of really stubborn and grime and dirty I'm just going to get the majority of it obviously a lot we've got from the other side some we haven't because it's in here there we go and then that's the job done. Let's just clean up this wall. A lot of it we've had overspray from previous cleaning. You can see we've obviously done the windows and stuff. We went around and did the windows and doors. Uh, it's a bit of a priority, so we've got that done, which is fine. So I'm just going to overspray here and see if we can get the rest of this wall done. Get the red wall. Actually, will it run further than what we want? Yeah, I don't know. It does say wall there on the top left, but it seems to be cleaning quite nicely. Cleaning from the top to the bottom. There was also some discussion regarding the mechanics of the game and how people would like a more a more accurate simulation where if you clean from like certain angles you would get like water dripping and um, like overspray onto other surfaces which may make them the, the ones that you've already cleaned dirty if you do it in the wrong order, stuff like that, which is interesting. I would have thought that well, I actually don't know. I don't really know what people's thoughts were. Thought it would be a bit of a mixed part. People, want, people wanting just a, a, a more of a chill thing or more, like say, simulation. So who knows? We may see some of that in the future. So as you can see, just cleaning all of these spindles here. Spindles? I don't know. Not really spindles per se, but certainly cleaning them, that's for sure. Up and around the top there. All of these, we'll just clean from this side first, 
and we'll get the underside there as well. Cleaning from this side and then we'll go outside of this area and then we'll get that clean as well. There you go. Naturally some's already been hit at some point where we've oversprayed them. I'm just hoping things will speed back up. The biggest thing I'm worried about is the upstairs, uh, going, going on the roof particularly. I'm not looking forward to because cleaning the tiles can be quite troublesome just because of the angles that you have to attack it from and obviously you're pointing down and it's just just not something that is I would say overly desirable but our job is not always not always uh, the best we have to do what we can to get this thing clean that is what we're paid for and that's what we'll do we are committed we are dedicated and we don't have any other staff to palm it off to, quite frankly, so I guess we'll just have to put up and shut up. So there you are. And looks like that's done. Let's have we'll get this wooden trim as well, which we can get all the way up to the top perhaps. Uh, looks like we can, yeah. Obviously there's this side to attack as well, so it's very easy to miss those. Yeah, there we go, that's nice and clean now. And while we're on, we'll do the roof. We can probably do a fair chunk of this roof just by standing here. I've got the long extension on. So we'll get the majority of this cleaned up. You can see when it goes to the middle there, just have to spend a little bit more time on it than perhaps we usually would. Speaking of wood, this is a wood surface so we'll have to get the wood cleaner on it. See the difference in sound there as we go onto the tiles actually. Just spray along there. Oh yeah, that's a nice just a nice little line going across. There we go. This is just the porch roof. And actually just doing a bit of a left to right here, just strafing is probably working out a bit better for us, which is good. Although that become a bit problematic as we go inside there back and forward like that. Is that is that reasonable? Yeah, it's very reasonable. We're getting a nice nice bit of cleaning. Some other little lines left in there not now and again. I'm not really too worried about that. I'm going to guess that we'll have to do the the roof as well as part of that. This is just the underside. Yeah, it looks like it doesn't feel like the roof's going to be a separate bit, although I don't know. In fact, it has to be because it's a separate material. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll just do this decking under here then. We've done the sides of it previously when we did all the brickwork around it. So it's just going to be all of these bricks here. Oh no. Yeah, it's, yeah we did do the side bits there. And that's coming up a treat. I'm just going to crouch there just to get underneath. That's where a lot of the dirt will be missed if we don't. And then back to standing up. And I'm getting all of that off the porch decking there. Porch decking, is that? Oh yeah, all that's classed as one. Okay, so I'm not going to be too precious over that then. Same as these bricks will be done shortly, I would imagine. But, yep, yeah, there we go. So I'm just going to get the thick off here. And there'll still be some left, some little bits left over. But there's no point in cleaning this 100%, these steps, when it's all considered to be one part up here. So I'm going to switch over to that nozzle. Yeah, that's the 25 degree spray, and the 25 degree angle spray seems to be doing the job quite nicely. There's some sections it's not cleaning up, but only some. As I said, if we can get the majority off of this on a first pass. Get it done. There's three stars there, 6% clean. New job available. Ah, so there are. Still more jobs to clean. More things to clean. I was uh, questioning whether or not this is the last one. Here's the recreational grounds there. Okay. 
I know I've been following the Twitter feed for the game and they've been teasing different things on there, so obviously there is work going on behind the scenes regarding new maps and levels and such. And there we go, there's that nice and clean. Right, so the roof. I'm going to have to get a ladder up there, but I'm going to go ahead and switch over to our soap nozzle with a wood cleaner. I'm not going to refill it. Because we've already got some in here anyway. So I'm just going to give it a hit. Like that. Just to get the thick off. Still a bit of dirt there, right? Soaping up nicely. That post's clean. So where's this one not clean? Hmm. Was that done? Yeah, that's good, really. That one's done. That's done. And that's done. And then... There's that. Okay, gonna go and get the ladder. And we'll change that. Hold. You can hold one, two, or three. By the way, I've never, I never really use it uh, to switch between the different nozzles and everything else. But I just tend to use the tab thing. So we'll pick this up and we'll get on the roof. At least the, the porch roof here. And up we go. So is this classed as? It's classed as porch. Yeah. And we can attack it with. We can attack it with a 25 degree, but quite frankly, I think we'll stick with the 15. So as per the other maps, we are going to go for the full 100% clean. The premium clean, whatever you would like to call it. Either way, it's the one where we get it done 100%. I don't want to be moving on to maps. If it's not completely done. Well, actually, I don't, know if, I don't even know if you can. I guess you could, now that another map is available. We could if we really... If we were really keen on checking the new map out. I could I could do that. You can see, <laughs> I'm, I'm not really being too precious on exactly what, we, uh, what bits we get there. Because I knew that if we just get the majority of it, it will just be done anyway. So, there you are. So, we're going to clean the windows while we're up here. And I'm just... So the corner of my eye was looking up and saw just how dirty this guttering is as well. Uh, we might as well do all of the wood while here. Let's just do the whole top section up here while we're, while we're on. There's, it seems a bit pointless zipping downstairs and doing different bits, although I have a feeling that this is where we'll be spending most of our time now. I think most of downstairs, if not all of it, is actually done. There you are. Let's just go along here. Get that done. We'll work underneath it. See, there's a lot of this we're having to put a bit more effort into because it's just a bit more stuck on. And the guttering, I find, is one of the more difficult things to clean. Just because of its. It's. I was going to say form factor, but shape is. <laughs> The more accurate thing, it's because it's like a, well, it's a gutter. It's a, just a big U shape. You have to get on the roof to do it, and you can't attack it from this side. So you have to sort of stand precariously on the edge of the roof and end up getting vertigo and all sorts, and thinking about shattering every bone in your body as you fall off and rupture things. You precariously balance on the edge there. Good enough, friends, really mucky. We want to clean up, but we've got it in the end. There's the fascia that we're getting. 
Let's see if we can get this wood wall as well as the downpipe. The gutter. Naturally, when we get this wall done, it'll just go tink. There we go. And the gutter as well. And there we are. Bit of overspray on the top of the roof there. It's actually cleaned it quite nicely. I don't want to spend too much time with that one. Uh, we're gonna. What are we gonna do? Let's see a bit of the gutter in there. I don't want to be jumping up and down to clean all of that. I don't think that's really worth it. Um, not fish you there. For some reason, it's not saying it's very clean at all. I assume it goes around the property, all the way around. And is this clean? No, this wooden trim isn't classed as clean. It is now classed as clean. There we go. Alright, we'll get this roof done. First time on this roof. I think it's best to attack it from actually up there. And don't try this at all. There we go. Right. <laughs> so we have got across. And we're just going to cut down like that. There is some that we've seen on previous maps. I think that the White House was one of the... I think that's, of all the maps so far, the most interesting. That was nice. Uh, what we've seen on that roof, and in particular this one as well, we've got the first layer of dirt, which is this stuff. So I may be able to clean with a 25%. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got all this really caked on grime. So what I'm doing is just ignoring that caked on stuff because we'll have to come back with the the spiralizer or the one percent or zero percent spray and work in that way oh hang on careful now so let's just work from the top all the way around you can see we are getting a nice clean for the dirt but not whatever that other stains are see all that still on. I mean we could probably spend time removing that with this nozzle or even a even the 25 sorry the 15 this is the 25 that we're running at the moment but I think we'll just get the majority of this off and this is the job that I'm not overly keen on the roofs because there's no intricacy to them by design they are very they are very, well, I was going to say flat, but you know what I mean. Yeah, it's an angle, but they're just a big slab that we have to clean. Whereas, I like getting around the window frames and things like that. Although there's limits, because those spindles down there are really annoying, so... <laughs> but at least there's variety. <clears throat> Excuse me. At least there's some variety. But anyway, let's get this clean. Do a good job, get a good bonus. On the drive home, treat ourselves to a massive pasty. What flavour? I don't know. That'll be a game time decision, I think. Ah, yeah, this fascia is all in one. So the front and the back of the house is all the same one. So at least we know. And you can see we've got all the spray on this wall. But might as well work it. We're on a 72% clean, so I'm actually... I think this is really speeding up, our cleaning. Could it be that we're getting good at the job? Nah, 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 can't be that, can't be that. Maybe we've just done all the intricate stuff first. Okay, we'll get this ridge cap done. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've got this uh, bit that juts out there. All right. That might be a bit more difficult to clean. What I'll do is I'll get that ridge cap cleaned up. And then now that it's all wet and slippy, I will actually stand on it. Uh, you know, just for the added grip. And... <laughs> you can see we're actually sliding off it. Not because it's wet, by the way. That isn't a mechanic as far as I'm aware. Um, it's just because it's got an angle and the game really doesn't want you standing on that. Yeah. 
I'm using the right click auto on function just to avoid repetitive strain injury in carpal tunnel or whatever holding down that button constantly for an hour does not seem like my idea of fun certainly got an idea of painful finger but yeah. they have been generous in allowing us to keep this on yeah, there's loads of mildew and like moss almost on this roof so I'll have to come back I might even use the universal cleaner quite frankly I'm trying to avoid the cleaner and I know people want me to do that as well so we save up enough cash for the for the bigger sprayer but we shall see this is Class's garage roof let's just get this wall done I'll have to crouch there just to get in that fascia I'll face you. There we go, on the front. Nice. There's that gutter which I'm not looking forward to cleaning, but we'll have to get to it eventually. There's that wall done as well. Excellent. Okay. I'm going to switch to the 15 degree, and I'm just going to crouch, make sure all under there is spotless. Right, spotless as it's gonna get. I'm working down on this garage roof. We're on a 76% clean on this property in this job. Problem being that we're spraying it with the 25. And there's still loads of muck. Which we'll have to come back and do. But, it's probably best if I just clean all this up first, because any overspray that I'm doing with more powerful clean like this is also hitting that. So, there you go. Dormer walls here. And, oh, look at that there. That underneath. Wooden trim. And on the garage roof as well. And the dormer. And a nice under spray. That's good. Because of the distance and angle, I'm not getting a, a very decent clean. I'm not. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm not really looking forward to having to clean the front because we're going to fall off, and that's exactly what happened. Right, we're going to pick up the ladder. Um, See, it's nice around the back here now, isn't it? It's okay. It's not too bad at all. Pick that up, run around the front, and hopefully we can stand on this ladder while we are cleaning. Put it there. And, nope, we end up sliding down. So, oh, no, there we go. I found a, an angle that is manageable. Curious is how much muck is there? It's just not coming off. Hmm. I'll not really worry about that too much. I'm going to go to the other side. Um. Okay. Short extension. Can we use it here? Yes, we can. I'll get the window frame from either angle now, as you can see. Oh, yeah, a lot of ingrain muck there. I'm shooting one strike down here and we'll be done. Yep, yeah, pretty much. As expected, really. And the dormer trim, which we'll get from this side as well. And there we go, there's the tink. And then we'll get the dormer walls. That should be with this. Pretty much done. This one.
Yeah, the roof is nowhere near done. I knew we were going to have some problems on the roof. But, you know, no drama llamas. We'll do what we can. I'm just checking out the dormer, really. Ah, just done a wonder place like that. Um, I think that's us. Yeah, four stars. 80% clean now. I think I know where it is. Yeah, it'd be up there. Okay, we managed to get it clean in time, that's fine. It's that fascia there. It's just getting into that now because of the angle. What we need, and I do think the game needs like a like a cherry picker. Or like a, a scissor lift or something so you can push it, like drive a scissor lift over and actually drive up. That would be... Yeah, well, something I would personally I do desire on this game would be nice. So let's just get the rest of this roof cleaned up. That'll be a huge weight off our shoulders when we get this clean. A big percentage. So we'll start in the valley here. And we'll just work along on the ridge cap. And you can see all of that there is coming straight off with the 25%. Uh, sorry, 15 this one. Our old favourite, and then we'll work on this side as well. It's all one roof, this. So even though this is Dormer roof, it is still classed as one roof. And the main takeaway is we're doing this a little cleaner. So it's going to save us a little bit of money, because we'd have to use a universal for this. Is it universal? Yes, top left there, universal is what it's saying. So we'll get back to this side. Bridge cap, all done. I don't know if starting with the 25% and then coming back with the 15 was the way forward. I'm not too sure whether it was or not. The thing is, if we use the 25, so if we use the 15 across, I think we'd have to come back again anyway because of the, the like the layers of dirt that's on it. So that may not have been the case, but. What's done is done. So we're just cleaning this corner here. I'm gonna go with the long nozzle as well now. Oh yeah, that's much better. Much more pressure at that longer range that we need. And the front of the house done. So the the sort of uh, <laughs> what would what would class as the the neighbor, the main neighbour facing area. Uh, yeah, I guess the one that we're going to judge us on is the front, if they're going to judge us at all. <laughs> I mean, you can't help but wonder if the council are being called. I mean, we have to make up a narrative, don't we? Not really, I guess. One, two, though. And I think with this bit cleaned here, this will be almost complete. I don't think it will be complete. Yeah, just down here, and then we'll be complete, I'm fairly confident. Don't think we're going to have to be hunting for dirt. No, we didn't. Okay, good. So that is that bit done. Let us get up here and I'm going to work on this guttering because it is filthy. And obviously this is going to give us some overspray onto this roof. This way I'm going to stick with the 15% nozzle to try and get all of that like mildew and stuff off first. You see we are sliding down ever so slowly. So I have to be careful there. Just clean the gutter out now. And then that gutter complete. And we fell off. Okay, fine. Um, I'm actually going to jump off the roof because I want to take a bit of a break from doing that and just clean a wall. 
we've had enough of the roofs the cleaning walls now this we'll get I think the majority of it done with the pressure washer but we'll most likely have to get the ladder for the rest of it up there we're taking it steady I think it's steady sort of worked out for us. But obviously the it's getting higher and higher up there anyway, so... I'll do what we can there. Work down. Keep attacking it. Yeah, that's fine. Get all done in. Yeah, that's good. What are we doing for the dirt? It says over here. Oh, that's graffiti, obviously. You see, if we go a bit quicker there, you can see the, <laughs> the the difference in terms of the... Yeah, we can't even reach up there. But you can see, if we go very quick like that, even though the close stuff we're cleaning very quickly, because we're not holding on... Well, we're holding it the same amount of time further away, we're getting this pattern like that where it's just not cleaned it. I'm going to get the ladder because, you know, we'll be fighting the game. I don't, there's no point in fighting it. We'll just uh, bring it over. And it's what we did on the other ones anyway. So we can place the ladder here. And it has extended automatically, which is good. I like all magic ladders. Quite expensive to buy, but, you know. Made of sapient pear wood, apparently. Actually, it's made of aluminium. be this wall done. Take, yeah, there we go. I'm just getting the edges of the edges of the tiles there. And just spraying underneath that chimney bit. So we can't get there, you see, from the other bit. And there we go. Right, pick this ladder up. And we're going to work here. Probably that way, probably. See, we're slowly moving. I'm not pressing anything, by the way. It's just because of what I was standing on that. One of the few parts of the games that is uh, a bit annoying. There you are. No game breakers, certainly. Let me see if we haven't get behind the... Behind the guttering there. Feels like we're on the home run now. Home stretch. We're on 86% cleaned. And I think in less than five minutes, we'll be on the roof doing the last bit. And let's see how long it takes for that statement to be completely and utterly incorrect. <laughs> God, there's a nice cutting in around that window frame there. There's that wood done. Let's do the glass. There we are. I'm going to come to this side. Spin it round. Just putting in on this window. You can see that this in the frame here is a different shape. It's round. Also has a bit more stubborn look on the bottom by the look of it. Speaking of the stubborn muck, we will get back to the guttering. There we go. all of these little bits which some of it I don't know if we'll be able to clean just get the end piece there and you're at that weird angle where horizontal nor vertical is the best 
I was trying to, like, clean that up. That's a shadow from the tree. And, uh, yeah, you'd probably be quite, ins <laughs> quite, quite unsuccessful cleaning a shadow. It's the shadows from Babylon 5, and I don't think they actually have bats, according to the wiki. And that's a nice little bit there for wood frame. Just clean the glass here. Well, oh, I made a bit of, meal, bit of a meal with that, I don't know. Yes. Horrible. Let's just try that again. There we go. Just start getting all hasty and was just doing this and <laughs> not getting any sort of uh, consistency, which is very poor. I do apologise. I'll take this glasses. That's the same as you want. Now just getting the frame. Around there. Get in front of this. There is bits that I've missed. But we might get away with cleaning the majority of this off and then the whole thing being ticked off. Just on this side and we're good. Yeah, there we go. There's your clean. And then this wooden wall. So it's just this now. So we get the spiralizer on the job. Perhaps. Oh. Lovely job. That's doing okay, that. Getting in places a bad smell wouldn't. Put it to the side. What's that done? Right. Check the tablet. Escape. Details. Chimney top. And gutters. Wooden trims. And the roof. Wooden trim. Which wooden trim? Which wooden trim? Okay. That's a little bit concerning. Wooden trim. Let's have a run around and see what. Oh, it's done. Hmm. Curious. Okay. Not really sure. I was supposed to see about that. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll get this chimney done and such. Because we know that we have to do this chimney top. And then we know... Oh yeah, you can get right inside there as well, that's nice. We'll get the chimney top done and then we know that we're just cracking on with the rest of it. At the point. Um, there we are. And the roof. Well, we have to start at some point, don't we? You can see with the one that I've chosen here, the 15 degree, it's what I mentioned before about even if we get the top off, we still have to go back for a second pass with it anyway. I do think it's marginally quicker with the 25, no, I don't think, actually no. No, I think it is quicker with the 15. You work it with this. 
just a once like that and then you don't have to come back there will still be some you understand but there you are Nice and clean that one. I'll just get this ridge cap for the top of this dormer. And in between the volley there. Any little bits that are spawned, just coming back for. Just give it a quick blast. Looking forward to the time lapse to see what we're going to end up with. Nice to see that. All right. And this bit here, you can see we can, it's very quick just to blast over. But then once you get to this stuff, you really have to spend some time on it. Then once that's off, you can just quickly do that yeah so let's just figure out what's needing to be cleaned at what level it's like all this bit we can just quickly go over it really and as soon as we get to this we switch back over to a more patient cleaning there we go This is the more intricate side of the roof as well. The other one is just, yeah, just flat. I've already got 2% in about as many minutes, so... Hopefully within the next 10 minutes that'll be us for this. I'm looking forward to see what the next one is. Hopefully not in the flat roof. Or the player park. <laughs> it was nice and different, the player park, but... It was not one of my favourites. That Stego slide took about what felt to be about three hours to clean. I know it wasn't. I think it was only about 15 minutes, but still. Also, now I'm getting loads of overspray over onto the roof. I'm actually doing this as circular motion as well. I don't know why. It's just it is what it is. Yeah, and now they're getting loads of overspray. I probably should have started at this roof and work our way down. Live and learn, don't you? What I'm doing here is like going up the roof backwards, but you can see that the speed is when you're looking right down. The speed is so slow because you, you actually you walk faster the more you, more you're looking straight forward. If you're looking straight down, it walks really slow. Then you look up, and then it's it's all right. <laughs> I'm guessing that's just so you can be more precise. So, it's a feature. I don't know if it's a useful feature, <laughs> but it's a feature nonetheless. Just gonna do this gutter here. Can we get everything in one go? Oh, we can. Ooh, that's satisfying. Oh, yes. It'd be nice to see all the guttering full of water and such coming off of this, but, you know. I think every time I play, I go, oh, it wouldn't be nice if this happens, and to be honest, if all that was ever implemented, we just have a full water simulation. <laughs> I think there's been discussion, not just in the comments, but also, I think, from the devs about, like, a challenge mode, where you have certain, like, um, a certain limited amount of water, so you can't just be you know, spraying everywhere and being really inefficient. Like, you have a, a limited amount of water to use. Which would be pretty interesting to try. So the roofs, it says it's more than 50% clean. See that bar on the left-hand side there? So this is good. So what I'm going to do then is just give this ridge cap a full clean. 
plane that worked right side of the thing. It seems slowly going down this thing. <laughs> Slowly working my way down. Not intentionally, it's just what it is. And I'm just holding this down, spraying close range. The problem is that you can see I'm sliding all over the place. 95% clean. Yeah, okay. Just starting to go a bit too fast there, and now we're leaving bits all over the place. So there's no real point in rushing it, because you just end up doing it all again anyway. Just come to the corner here. Ooh, I don't really like looking down there. <laughs> Today's beverage is simply water. Which I guess is on brand with what we're spraying here. Basically drinking rain. Okay, we're ninety six per cent and the roof is looking all right. See the speed is not that fast when we're going back over. Used to be a lot of bird droppings there on that. I think because of what this is, we can probably do a little fan motion here. Work around that. There we are. Ninety-seven percent, and we still have to find that end bit. Still there. Well, it's not going to clean itself unless there's some good Samaritans come along and goes, Ah, oh, I can see that. That guy looks really busy. And you know what? I can see a tiny bit of dirt. And he's just going to clean. <laughs> then on our tablet we get an alert. Ting! What's clean? Really? When do we do that? <laughs> and some, some person who's walking the dog just waves at us. <laughs> oh, good for you. There's little bits I've missed there, but no dramas. No drama llamas, no ambulances, no nothing like that. Not around here. And we are getting close. 99%. There we go. I'm just going to spin around a bit. Yeah, so if I was to clean this again, I would start on the roof. I probably wouldn't, in all fairness, because I hate doing the roofs. <laughs> I would most likely just sack it off and do exactly what I've done and do the more interesting parts. But if I was to... Ah, that was done there. If I was to... Want to be more efficient? I would start at the roof and work my way down. Um, so it does state, if we press our tablet here, that wooden trims, wooden trims. So these things here, window frames, wooden trim. Don't know how many there are. I'm going to hold tab. We well, can't really. Hold it. I'm just going around, pressing tab. Seeing if anything pops up. It feels like it'll be one of those. How many are there? Sadly, it's not telling me.
railings, posts, wooden trim. Ah, this is wooden trim as well. So it's probably going to be like around here. Somewhere like that. I think the uprights are all alright. When we find it, we can be fairly happy. No, none of that. There it is. That tiny little bit there. Right, job is complete. Let's have ourselves a time lapse. It'll stop for a while because we were on the back. <laughs> we didn't just go on a break or anything. And there you go. So the house looks amazing. Almost normal. You know what's strange though? As if you were finishing, there was a screech from the attic. So I opened the hatch and something whooshed past my face, followed by a grubby grey feather float mysteriously down. I think it was Esther's soul leaving finally a piece. Sounds like a pigeon. Right, we're going to click continue, and we now have, oh, two other maps. We have clean the shoe house and clean the skate park. All right, okay. I'm going to go to buying here and power washers. We've got the heavy duty for two grand. We can't afford it. We can't afford any nozzles, but we can afford it. So I'm going to skip the medium duty. I think that is a false economy. We'll go and buy the Prime Vista 3000. And you can see the difference is quite considerable. So we'll do that. And I think what we'll most likely do then because of that. Because we want to we want to be buying the... We want to be buying those. This is... The Clean the Scare Bag is a large one. So next episode we'll do Clean the Shoe House. And that'll give us, I think, enough money for the power washer and a couple of nozzles that's probably the way forward either way we're gonna leave it there that's been a bit of power wash simulator hope you have enjoyed it and hopefully it's been it's, it's hopefully you've seen it's a relaxing one for you um by all means comments in the comments and we'll go from there thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings